Well, hello there, everybody. Welcome to my channel, Victoria here, Radiant Moon Tarot. This is your weekend reading for you for November 10th through 12th of 2023. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome to you. If you're returning, welcome back. I'm always grateful for every single one of you. Let's have a look and see what we've got for your weekend. Uh, just a, while I'm shuffling a little bit of housekeeping for you, we do have, uh, today we've got the new moon readings coming up. We've got a new moon on Monday. <laughs> I think that's a Duran Duran song, to be honest with you. Um, but we've got a new moon on Monday the 13th. So we'll be starting to feel some of this energy this weekend. And we've already talked about it a little bit on this channel um, over the last couple of days. So quite intense energy, quite fiery energy. And, uh, you know, so meditate, ground, all of that kind of stuff. Um, but this can bring some really positive changes for you guys. Uh, granted, with a little bit of a shake up there for you. But new moons are always a wonderful time to set some intentions. Um, but the intentions that you set under a Scorpio new moon do require you to clear out and to make some changes. But those uh, readings are posted for you right now so go and check those out I'll put the link down below so if you do find you enjoy my readings please don't forget to press like on the videos and also subscribe to my channel and here we go your first card out um, brand new deck for you by the way I also uh, have the walkthrough for this uh, that's going to be posted I think I'll do it in the morning um, so give the other videos a chance to uh, kind of gain a little bit of traction, but we've got the spiritual triangle coming in for you guys over the weekend. And this is divinity creation and manifestation. So what a beautiful energy here. Um, we are really op operating and concentrating on our higher chakras. There are crown chakra, our soul star chakra. If you haven't heard of that one, it's a great one to work with. Um, also your third eye, right? All of those higher things. So some of you might be very much uh, getting into alignment with your higher self, with your visions. You might have some vision of what you want to create. Um, pay attention to any kind of signs over the weekend because you may be getting some uh, there. They could be repeating numbers is one of the most common ways. Um, you know, a song on the radio just at the right time. Maybe it catches your ear, uh, whatever that happens to be for you. The higher chakras are open. This is your opportunity to really uh, set some intentions and focus on what it is that you want to create. But a little bit of a spiritual shift for a lot of people this weekend as well. So open your heart, open your mind. Uh, again, it, you know, really that repeating message of meditate, ground. And meditation doesn't have to be really complicated, right? And if you watch my channel enough, you know that I'm a huge believer in keeping things simple. If we overcomplicate the steps and things, we get lost in that. We get lost in the instructions and we're not connected as much with the energy. So do whatever feels right for you, but you don't need a whole bunch of crystals. You don't need, you know, a, a, a big table filled with, filled with, you know, all sorts of tools or anything like that. All you need really is you, maybe a candle. Right. So keep things simple and do what works for you. And some some people really find that getting connected with nature is a great way for them to meditate. So whatever works for you guys, um, great energy, great time for us all to manifest something into our life. We've got the 20th path on the tree of life, and this is the hermit. So again, a very spiritual energy coming in for you guys, all right? And the hermit, of course, it's Virgo energy, but the hermit is where we connect with our spiritual selves, where we go within, we figure out what it is we want, right? The hermit always carries a lantern and what goes in our lantern, our purpose, our wish, our intentions, our goals, and this helps light the path and light the way forward. So what do you want to put in that lantern? Lantern. What do you want to light your way forward with? Great time for you to do a little bit of meditation, do a bit of soul searching and figure some things out for you. The spiritual guidance that comes with this is could be that maybe you are at this point uh, thinking of getting a reading done. Maybe you want an astrology reading done or an energy reading or healing. The hermit brings some healing energy to the mix as well. Um, maybe you want a tarot reading done, right? It's a great weekend to perhaps engage in those things or maybe even learn how to do it for yourself all right but this is about committing to your journey 
Um, this does bring about the very calm, very grounded and very peaceful energy to you. So a lot of great spiritual energy. All these things are opening up and activating for you now. So lovely, lovely energy there for you. Let's see what else we've got for your weekend. Messages for people watching, please. Messages for people watching. There we go. Sticky. We've got the page of gifts. We've got the ten of gifts. And we've got the page of canes. Wow. Okay. So receiving mode activated here, people. Make sure that you are open and you are receptive to all kinds of gifts, news, messages, and opportunities headed your way. We do have two pages coming out here. And the pages do represent some new, fresh energies. They also represent your inner child. So this can be a really great weekend for you guys to have a little bit of fun. And that is a great way to elevate your energy, raise your vibration. When we're smiling and we're laughing, we're having a good time. We're taking pleasure and joy. <coughs> excuse me. We're taking pleasure and joy in the simple things in life. And this is just where things just feel a little bit better and when we've got intense energies planetary energies in the sky or in the world around us the best thing that we can do sometimes is just have a good time have a little thing have a little bit of uh pleasure but we do have the page of gifts coming in here so for some of you you might get an invitation and offer an opportunity you could have some in um, in, um, um information thank you coming your way um the page of gifts can also represent someone you know giving you a gift or maybe you're being generous and gifting someone with something um but this is a very positive energy so you might have some really good news on the way for you there um we do have that right beside the 10 of gifts and the 10 of gifts it's both of these the gifts in this deck are the pentacles right something you can touch and feel and maybe you can something you can unwrap and so with the page of gifts right beside the 10 of gifts, there could be some increase in money that comes in for you guys. Maybe there's something that you wanted and uh, you find it on sale. And so this can really um, be a wonderful, joyous time for you there in that. But the 10 of gifts is um, abundance and especially around home, family, financial sometimes as well. Uh, the Ten of Gifts is where we sometimes do get a gift, right? We get a present, we get an inheritance, something may be passed to us, passed down to us, handed over to us, whether it's advice, whether it's money, uh, whatever it happens to be. Some of you are making plans or getting together with family this weekend, and it's a good time. All of these three are in the upright, and um, all of them are very uh, very wonderful high vibe energies, right? So that 10 of gifts, you could be really achieving something you want, or you just feel that, you know, that you want to spend some time at home this weekend instead of running around and going out with the hustle and bustle. And that can really help you um, to stay grounded and to stay focused. But this can also be where, you know, you want to go into a little bit of hermit mode there and spend a little bit of time just with yourself in a quiet space and comfortable surroundings, maybe with people you love or maybe alone. The hermit does tend to be a solitary energy. And um, but this is just what you need. Right. And so maybe you're finding a bit of balance this weekend between getting out and having fun and doing all your chores, but then also, um, you know, spending that time uh, with yourself or with your loved ones in your home. But we do have the page of canes coming in here as well. And the page of canes, the canes in this deck is the swords energy. And so, yeah, some news message communication, all of this high vibe stuff. Maybe there's a lot of chatter this weekend for you. Um, but with the page of canes, you could be thinking of new ideas, right? Maybe you're making those plans for the future and you're thinking about, you know, do we need to do something different? Do we want to try something new this year? A lot of people are making um, seasonal plans right now, right? for, you know, Thanksgiving or Christmas or New Year's or whatever it is you celebrate in your world, right? So a lot of chit chat going on. And yeah, with the with the page of canes here, maybe someone's got some really good ideas where you can maybe blend the old traditional ways with the new and more vibrant ways, right? So kind of like old school meets modern um, in some way. Some of you are maybe blending some families or you got two families coming together. 
But whatever your situation is, the page of canes here can represent those futuristic plans. It can be keeping the lines of communication open. You might be bursting with new ideas, but there could also be some news or messages or information coming to you via technology. Um, uh, something with the internet, your emails, that kind of thing. So maybe, you know, you might be researching something or you get a message delivered. Um, and this might be really a wonderful thing for you guys. All right. We've got the blessings headed your way and we've got the queen of candles. Okay. Now the queen of candles, this candles energy is the wands energy. So your blessing is the queen of wands. Now this can be your energy where you're feeling alive. You're feeling vibrant. You're feeling good. You're feeling independent. Uh, you're feeling like, you know, you just want to kind of have fun. Um, you are feeling very creative in this energy. And so, yeah, again, you might be spending some time with some loved ones here and just, you know, really doing something interesting, right? You might be um, feeling a little bit inspired uh, here as well. So a lot of fun, loving energy that the Queen of Candles is also a very open energy as well. Also very truthful and honest. So this could be a revelation coming in. This can be someone revealing some sort of information or plans. And this can also be where you're ready to receive. Now, the Queen of Candles as a person though maybe somebody in your world here where their presence is a gift of some kind right so this might be where you know you have grandma or your mom or uh, your bestie or something coming in from somewhere coming in from out of town or maybe you just get to spend some time with this important person the queen of candles as a person especially in the upright as a blessing is someone who can give you some advice some motivation some inspiration somebody who may um, you may enjoy their company you might uh, really love talking to them and um, this can also be you remember with the page of gifts here uh, you might be feeling a little bit generous and so maybe you have a lonely neighbor um, or someone in your world where you invite them into your home and perhaps even over the holiday season and you're making those plans now and the blessing is not just for you to open your heart and be generous but is also the blessing for this person to receive your wonderful gift and uh, it's always nice you know people helping people it's always nice to do that but whoever this person happens to be whether it's a bestie or a neighbor or a co-worker or whatever right it, they are a positive presence in your life somewhere over the weekend and it doesn't necessarily have to be a female even though it's a queen someone who is in tune with their feminine energy they're open receptive um, they're very confident and comfortable in their own skin but they got a very vibrant energy around them your advice from spirit we've got the justice card here for you and Libra and energy and this is so perfect um, because we do have Venus in Libra and Justice card is Libra in energy. And this is focusing on relationships of all kinds, family relationships, friendships, romantic partnerships, um, relationships with your children, with your parents, with your ancestors, with your higher self, with spirit relationships of all kinds very activated this weekend. So your advice from spirit there is to focus on the relationships and solidify those bonds, clear out any, um, you know, any issues or whatever that you may have been having, open up lines of communication and spend some time with those loved ones. But with the two pages out there, don't forget to open your heart to perhaps meet new people, especially you singles out there, right? This can be a great time where those floodgates open, where you can meet new people in your life but you can also be opening the door to make new friends or new connections on any level the justice card also does show that there might be some important situation that is being resolved or revealed this weekend the justice card quite often does have to do with legal situations here and where something is um, has the potential or is being resolved and it is a fair and balanced resolution um, and so this can be with the Ten of Pentacles or the Ten of Gifts in this deck being uh, sometimes associated with inheritance. For some of you, maybe there is something you might be just discussing 
um, something about the future. Um, I know a couple of years ago, my parents, they, they spent a lot of money actually getting um, a will drawn up um, properly with a lawyer and filed in all sorts of um, all the right places, which actually ended up being very much a godsend. Um, when my mom passed away, it was a lot easier for my dad to navigate, um, you know, the ups and downs of things like that. So you might be talking about legal documentation, power of attorneys, wills, that kind of thing. Um, you know, and, uh, um, even though it's a difficult conversation sometimes to have, um, it can be very necessary and it can give people the peace of mind. It's a hard subject to, br to bring up sometimes, but this can be part of your advice from spirit this weekend, right, is to get all of your legal ducks in a row. But again, some of you might have some legal situation that is being resolved um, in the very near future here with this as well. But the justice card says that you may need to make some decisions this weekend. Just be honest, be open, be truthful and um, find balance in your world here as well because uh, the justice card it brings balance and harmony to things we do have two pages coming in here right so if you've got children maybe you're trying to make sure that um, they're both treated equally um, if you've got a family maybe you're again trying to just find that healthy equilibrium there between you know navigating um, you know is it our house or your house or whatever we're trying to do here in this energy but take a moment here with the justice energy to um, reflect a little bit um, because it does have very people-y kind of energy remember to reflect a little bit and give thanks and gratitude um, to you know all those people we have remembrance day this weekend and remember to just take a moment take a minute um, to give thanks to all of the people uh, our past, our grandparents, our great grandparents, whatever that happens to be for you, even strangers, people you don't know, who fought for us to maintain our freedom, right? Whether you believe in war or not, or, you know, um, conspiracy theories out there and just don't even buy into those um, a lot of the time, uh, although a few tend out to turn to be true. But the fact is, is that a lot of people fought for our freedom, fought for, you know, our um you know, fought against oppression and all of that. And we see a resurgence of certain things and the media does blow things up, but there is a lot of truth out there as well. So if we take a moment, give thanks and gratitude and remember that we need to learn from our past, right? And if we don't learn from our past, we're doomed to repeat it. So in the hermit energy here, there's a lot of older folk out there that, you know, maybe they do deserve a little bit of a thank you, whether they're still with us in our 3D world or whether they're just with us in spirit. So always a good time to do that and always a reminder um, for that. We wouldn't have the life that we have right now if others hadn't made some sacrifice, right? Doesn't matter what your belief system is at all. So with that, I'm going to leave all that there for you guys. Okay, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Uh, think about what it is that you want to um, attract or manifest into your life and get ready to set some intentions um, in that new moon energy. You might want to do those intentions the day before, maybe a day or two after. Um, the, the energy will still be around, right? It's just on the very on the new moon day itself, the energy is quite intense. So it just depends on how you navigate the, that kind of energy. A day before, a day after might be a little bit calmer for you in that, all right? But I thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed your reading, please do hit that like button and subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. And then you'll always know when I put up a new reading in theory. So I thank you guys. Have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you later. Bye.